So this experiment was on the effect of different sequences of harsh external environmental changes on a beat. Have you ever thought of being stuck in a survival situation without food? If so, you have probably thought of how it would be if one had to turn to wild food sources. With surviving in the wilderness also comes unpredictable weather changes. How do these different weather sequences affect the natural found food? Each beet was placed in plastic containers without a lid to have a stable base. This experiment consisted of three experimental groups. Each experimental group experienced a different sequence of events, cold, hot, and acid rain. After each experimental group overcame their hardships, the damage was measured in order to discover which sequence of events damaged the beet the most. The hypothesis is that first cold, then acid rain, and lastly heat will damage the beet the most. For the procedure, each group had to undergo each sequence of events. So first group one went through heat, first group two went through cold, first group three went through acid rain. And this project took a total of 72 hours with each group going through each sequence. For heat, each test subject was placed under a standard lamp with a 40 watt light bulb for 24 hours. For cold, each test subject was placed in a 20 degrees Fahrenheit freezer for 24 hours. And for acid rain, each test subject was placed in a container filled with 700 milliliters of water and a quarter of a cup of vinegar for 24 hours. This project was overall a very safe experiment. All precautions were taken, such as monitoring the lamp that stayed on for a long period of time, exercising safe knife skills when beets were cut open, and washing of hands after handling each test subject. The results for this experiment were pretty much straightforward, and for this experiment, damage scales were created. So for the outer layer damage scale, one would be no damage at all, and the outer layer is hard to a 5, which is somewhat damaged, not hard but not soft, some breaks in the skin, to a 10, which is the outer layer is decomposing or completely damaged with many breaks in the skin. The color pigmentation scale would be a 1 is lost, no color at all, the same as before the experiment, to a 5, it lost somewhat of its color, a noticeable change of color to a 10 where it has lost all of its color completely and it's different color as before the experiment. So after day one, group one was a two, group two was about a three, and group three was a two. After day two, group one was a four, group two was a six, and group three was a five. After day three, group one was a six, Group 2 was a 9, and group 3 was a 7 for the outer layer damage. And the final results for the loss of color pigmentation, group 1 was about a 4, group 2 was a 7, and group 3 was a 5. Here are some of the results of the, the pictures of the beats. So as you can see, the, the beat gets progressively deteriorated over time, and it is overall taking a toll to the outer layer. This experiment shows which different sequences of environmental effects affect a bee the most. There are many other plants that are found naturally in the wild, such as quinoa, chard, and spinach, that are cousins to the bee. Therefore, they all have the same elements to their physical build. This means that if the experiment were to be tested on those other plants, the outcomes will most likely be the same. The sequence of events that experimental group 2 went through damaged the bee the most. First cold, second acid rain, and lastly heat. The hypothesis was correct. All throughout this experiment, experimental group 2 showed the most damage done to the outer layer and the most loss of color pigmentation in the end of the experiment.